what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Florida again. It's been at least 48 hours since I reported something about Florida. Florida can't get out of its own way when it comes to these shenanigans. We got a man who was at a Frontier Airlines counter. They tried to charge him for his bag, causing him to miss his flight. He became so enraged that he knocked out the attendant. He and his woman proceeded to fight another couple. This dude gets knocked out cold. At the end, the police, well, the paramedics, is trying to help the attendant who is still out. If you got to take off on somebody, why not reserve your resources for the big stuff? You know, the serious stuff when people like try to interfere with your livelihood or your peace. The two were arrested and sent to jail. What do we have here, fam? Now, here's the deal. I do a lot of flying. Sometimes, airline attendants, the flight crew, everybody involved, the, the damn uh, TSA, all of them, man, they can be some of the rudest people ever. Many of them have bad attitudes. The thing is, when you go to the airport, you have to be prepared when people have these little shitty attitudes. And if you are going to check them, you have to be prepared to miss your flight because they will hit that little button or whatever, and block you from getting on flights. Sometimes they'll block you from getting on other airlines. You did? So, I understand the dude was infuriated. I got it. I got it, he was mad about having to pay. Well, what are you talking about? 25 to 50 bucks for a bag? versus the trouble you're gonna to have to go through. Usually if they're charging you for a bag, usually they are right, uh, they are within their powers or the rules. Uh, if you look at the ticket when you buy it correctly, they tell you exactly you know, what it is that you're getting with your ticket. And I'm sure well, I wasn't there, but I'm almost sure <laughs> that they at least took a look at his ticket and said, nope, this bag is not covered. You have to pay for this bag. I personally don't like airlines. I think they are some of the greediest people ever. They just penny, pinch you, nickel and dime you to death. I don't like them at all. But I got to deal with them. And if I am going to get on their plane, use their services, I got to kind of like, you know, follow the rules, number one. But try to be as cordial as I can. Now, to this point, I've never had to go there before. I have had a situation before with the ghetto boys in Jackson, Mississippi. We're at the airport, we're at the ticket counter. 
Brad, who y'all know is Scarface, and Bushwick, they're cracking jokes about the plane crash. Well, the, uh, the attendants, they didn't take too kindly of it. So they denied us access to the plane. Before I knew what was going on, Brad and our DJ, Damo, had took off and got a new flight. They had already taken off and got on another flight. And me and everybody else was stuck in the airport. We had to sleep in the airport overnight and catch a plane the next day. They blocked us from getting on any flights, but before they could block Brad and Damo, they were already gone. So these airlines, you know, they got their rules, they got the strict rules and everything, and I had nothing to do with it, but since I was with them, I'm guilty by association. They blocked me too. Now, when you commit a crime at an airport, that's a federal violation. So they, more than likely going to be charged with a federal crime. They were at the airport boxing and he knocked out a flight attendant. Fam, you got to ask yourself, is it really worth it sitting down for five years, 10 years, missing out on your family life, missing out on your own life, missing out on building? Then to just, you know what? Here you go. If you have somewhere important to be and you know you can't miss that flight, pay the fee, get on the flight, file your grievance after you get to where you're going. Hell, you can file your grievance in midair sometimes. Or if you just want to stand on principle, walk away, book a different flight, and then fight for your money, file a lawsuit, file your grievance, do whatever you got to do to get justice. Some people be like, nah, that's what, that's what she get. Shouldn't have did this. Yeah, he, he, he should have did this. Come on, fam. For real? How many people that's egging the dude on is going to go out there and help him make bond? Who's going to take care of his mortgage if he got a mortgage or his rent or his family or his children while he's sitting down? Who's going to help him out with those attorney fees? You did. Do what you want to do, fam. But I'm going to tell you, conflict is costly. If you got to go there, you go there. If, if you got to go there. But if you don't, why would you put yourself in that type of position? I can guarantee you, for anybody who's saying, yeah, he should have did that, I can guarantee you his ass be apologizing. When he go before that judge, I can guarantee you he humble himself and he will apologize because that time is serious. If you are protecting yourself and you have no choice to do what you got to do, then do take care of your business, man. But to, to charging people up at that airport and just going crazy because somebody tried to charge you for a damn bag, I understand the principle, you know, because it may not even be about a bag. It could just be somebody talking to you the wrong way and that could rub you the wrong way. But you got to think, play to stay, play to stay alive, play to stay free. If I was in the exact same situation, I would hope that I would take my own advice. In any event, if I didn't do that, I would put myself in a very bad position. And that's what I try to avoid. That is the reason why I'm giving you guys the advice that I'm giving you in saying, at least try to keep your cool in these type of situations because you're not going to win. And as far as I'm concerned, 
The name of the game is always to get the W. No more talk. What, what, what the ladies talking about?